Hello and welcome to a cool morning here at ATEC Hunting. It's a bit unpredictable weather, so we've got a few guns and a few options. We're going to see how it pans out. It's foggy, it's windy, the sun comes through every now and again. Uh, yeah, very unpredictable, but it should be a fun hunt, so sit back and enjoy. We got everything set up and lucky for us, the first pigeons were already on the pylons. He's down 60 meters, it was quite a steep angle so I just dialed about 3 or 4 clicks less and hit him solid. We are shooting the same gun as in the previous episode but this time with a brand new slug from Patriot that has reached end of development. Today we are shooting the 34 grain version of the slug and it offers better BC and expansion. I will also do an accuracy test at the end of this video. Production on the slug has already started but for now that is all I can say. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, there he goes. He was hanging there for a little bit, but I got him down, so that's at 100 meters. The slug rips a massive hole in this pigeon, and you can see him leaking while being stuck on the pylon. The new soft lead formula we used on this slug keeps together so well on expansion that this 34 grain slug only loses less than 2 grains of mass when it expands. You probably noticed there are a lot of Sabre tactical parts on this gun. It is because this is my long range setup and I want a little bit more weight and I want a little bit more stability on this platform and that is why I've put it on here. Also with this monopod gives you great control even when you rest it on a sandbag you still have control to bring it up or down when you don't have enough in your sandbag to get you there. So these are very awesome parts and I can highly recommend them. The only problem if you do this is the gun becomes very heavy and you lose the capability of walking around with it. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Yes. <laughs> uh, I couldn't track it but it was 90 meters. I only use Accutec bipods because they are an extremely reliable bipod. They also add a little bit more weight to your gun to provide that solid platform. And then they've got this awesome quick release cant adjustable system. You can easily adjust your cant or you can just tighten it a little bit and you can still cant it with some friction or you can completely lock it in by just putting more pressure on there. This system for me is what makes this bipod so good and then obviously the quality you get with, this bi with these bipods are just unmatched. So that's why I like them and that's why I use them on all my guns. <laughs> and down he goes as well. So that one is about 90 meters. Yeah, you can hear these pop a lot, a lot louder. These are 34 grain slugs, brand new slugs that we're busy developing and oh boy do they expand. I think they expand about one and a half times more than the standard javelin. Mm -hmm. 
With the 800 millimeter barrel setup, you obviously don't have a shroud anymore. This carbon fiber sleeve is snuck on the barrel and on the inside is another carbon sleeve as well to keep everything nice, tight and get that tension on here. Now without a shroud, you lose a lot of volume. So for that reason, you have to put on a nice big silencer to make up for that. And that is why I use the Ronin on most of my 800 millimeter setups. <laughs> That's so loud. Man, these slugs perform. Scope tape. A lot of you ask that question. How do you scope tape your gun or how do you dial? Now, I did a video previously about that. It is on this channel. I'll put a link down below. It's an older video, but the process and the procedure is exactly the same as what you would do on these scopes. So you just go and watch that and it explains to you in detail what you need to do. The only thing you need is the BC of your slug. Now most slug manufacturers are uh, on Strelok or the BC is listed on the container itself. And then you can go from there. So watch that video and you'll know exactly what to do. Nice. And, and there, there goes the goes falcon. The and he's got him. Awesome. <laughs> so that one was first a little bit on. So I ranged him and then he moved a little closer. So I just held a little higher and he's down. It's 100 and I guess around 120 meters. I managed to track this one all the way down, so I'm just going to let you enjoy this. The question we get asked a lot as well is how do we know the distance? Laser range finders. Most of the time we use these. Some uh, situations you can't use them like in fog or if there's wires in between or something like that that the laser bounces off. In those scenarios you just go by experience or range the thing that is in the way and add a few more clicks for the next distance to the target. But yeah, these things are a must and we use them a lot, especially when you dial because you've got to be spot on. And air guns with their loopy trajectory, you've got to be spot on with your distance to hit your target. We spotted a few pigeons at the back, so we picked up the heavy gun and went after them. That's the only problem with these slugs. Your target might catch fire on close range. This is actually not a really good carry around gun. It's pretty heavy with all the extra saber tactical stuff on there. But this Patriot bag with the little indentation fits so nicely over your shoulder and then you can just throw the gun on there. And then it carries actually pretty, pretty nicely. Yes, see, <laughs> so it was 40 meters. It hits so loud. Shot count. I get asked that question a lot. Now I must be honest, I never go through the effort of counting how many shots I get per fill because I always have air supply with me. And when I tune my guns, I go on how the gun sounds and I go for that accuracy note that gives me a good group when I do it. And when I've got that and I get more than a magazine out of a high power setup like that, I'm happy because, yeah, as I said, I always have air with me. I can quickly fill up. We're also always close by. Now I do get that for most people that is not the case and you do need the shotgun as well. But most of these guns can be tuned differently with uh, lower power, more efficiently as well. So you can get more shots out of them depending on what you're doing. So I would just recommend do your own shot count setup. Um, what I do as well won't be the most efficient setup because this gun is running at 1,100 feet per second with 34 grain slug. 
slugs it. Not efficient. I do get more than a magazine and for me that is enough. Because once I go fill the gun, I fill the magazine anyway. So, yeah, so be it. <laughs> yes. So that was dead on at 64 meters. Okay, quick expansion test on the can there. So I've got the super slow mo ready there. I'm make this quick. Ooh, that's so loud. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. So these aren't very good expansion tests because water is very aggressive in expanding a slug. And it's also so loud because of that um, shock wave that travels through the water and then bursting open the can. Now, I've seen some people use this sound in their videos to put onto the footage of where they shoot animals to make it sound like their slug is much louder. you'll hear the difference between what it actually sounds like shooting a pigeon on a wire versus using this sound in your video to do that. So it's a bit of uh, YouTube magic that they do. So be on the lookout for YouTubers who promote slugs that the sound is just too unreal and loud and it will also sound the same in each shot. They are trying to pull you a fast one. Now it's time to test accuracy at 100 meters. It was pretty breezy and windy, so just keep that in mind. So I'm going to try and shoot in between the little gusts. Got it. Gusty now. So I'm watching the tweaks down there. You can see they're pretty gusty at the moment. And the last shot. Uh, that's up down in three miles. Go. You can see it's hitting slug on slug down there at 100 meters. That right there is months of hard work by myself, Matt Dubber and Hein Froman and it's so nice to see the fruits of your labor. We are a small company trying to fight in the big leagues hoping to advance the sport of air gunning. For us it's all about passion and we try to find and make that perfect slug, the unicorn if you will. And it is thanks to your support that we can keep on going. We can only hope that you enjoy our products as much as we do. Now with that being said, let's get back to the pigeons. <laughs> Solid hit, 100 meters. One meters. Yes, that is hectic. <laughs> Thirty meters. Hundred and thirty meters and down. Oh, 
after that headshot, the day wasn't going to get any better and we decided to make it the last one. Well, that is it. We are done for the day. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please remember to subscribe. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. It will really help us out. We would like to see you again. So please stop by again on this channel. And we hope to see you next time. Cheers.